Welcome on back to you inside the den for the Utah Grizzlies. I'm Mary Luce Cook, and today I'm joined by Garrett Metcalf, who is returning for the 2022-23 season. Garrett, what does it mean to be back and playing in your hometown this season? Yeah, it's really special. Uh, grew up in Salt Lake City, moved away from home when I was 15. But uh, my dad ref pro hockey there for 26 years, so me and my older brother grew up at the Maverick Center. Um, you know, obviously was fortunate enough to be back the last two years or year and a half, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but anytime you get to play at home and kind of show the, the hometown kids that playing pro hockey uh, is a possibility is very special. Oh, I'm sure. Now, t- talking about the AHL, you had a little bit of a taste of that last season uh, playing with Lehigh Valley. Uh, you had a player of a week, a player of the week award in January, a two one one record. How motivating is it knowing that you can play at that level? Yeah, so the ultimate goal is the NHL. Um, And I think for goaltenders, you don't just step right into the NHL. There's kind of a ladder to get up there. Um, So to know that I can take the next step and do pretty well, uh, obviously two wins, uh, just adds confidence for me, uh, especially when I did come back, just knowing that I can play at that level. uh, Just gives you confidence and a little bit more, uh, I guess, motivation to to continue working hard um, and keep striving to hopefully one day be a person that's a a full-timer in that league and then maybe potentially make the jump to the NHL. Garrett, another gift that you have is uh, art, and it's really cool to see what you do on Twitter, what you share there. How long have you been drawing for? Um, So I've been drawing for a long time. Uh, I probably took every art class you could take in high school, um, and then I got away from it for a while when I started playing junior hockey, and then in college I got back into it again. Uh, just to get away from the stresses of the real world and real life and not think about hockey and you know you can be drawn for eight hours ten hours in a day and it just seems like the day really flies by it honestly feels like 30 minutes just put in put on some music and just tune into the art world and tune everything else out so just kind of an escape for me I love that. Such a creative guy. Now, you have some of the coolest and most creative masks in hockey, including one that you designed yourself from two of your favorite TV shows, Game of Thrones and Peaky Blinders. Would you say that you're more of a Jon Snow or Thomas Shelby? Oh, that's really hard. Uh, That's really tough. I'd probably say uh, Tommy Shelby, to be honest with you. I I liked both shows, but... I didn't quite love the ending of Game of Thrones, so I kind of have a sour taste in my mouth about that. Okay, fair enough. (laughs) All right, now we're just about two weeks out from camp. What have you been working on to set yourself up for success in the upcoming season? Yeah, so for me, unfortunately, my season ended early because I had to have shoulder surgery. Uh, So just still not really in the recovery process, but... um, you know, when you when you can't really work out or skate for that long a time, you get out of shape. So for me, it's really just getting back into shape. Uh, I'm in Pittsburgh now. My girlfriend goes to school here. My goalie coach is here. Uh, so really just focusing on the fundamentals and, and getting to feel like myself again on the ice. And then, uh, you know, being ready for when camp, camp does start in two weeks. And, um, you know, it may be a little bit of an adjustment getting back into it, but I'm just trying to set myself up. So it's not too long to where I feel back to be at 100%. All right. Well, good stuff. We're looking forward to seeing you in between the pipes next season. So thank you so much for taking the time today. Garrett Metcalf here on Inside the Den. Thanks for having me.